2,000 megawatt target. Uh, for the 2,000 megawatt, we received offers mm -hmm. of 10 gigawatt, mm -hmm. 10,000 megawatt, mm -hmm. five times what is needed. Mm -hmm. And this means that in the future, we are going to export. We are not going to establish the battery sites. We are going to have only the 2,000 now for solar sure because of the limitation of the grid to yeah. avoid this, mm -hmm. I would say, fluctuating source of electricity. Mm -hmm. However, on the other side, we are sure that in the future, if we are requiring more, uh, renewable electricity would have, mm -hmm. in fact, uh, a room of investors mm -hmm. that are waiting mm -hmm. and keen to come into Egypt and to work in Egypt. Mm -hmm. uh, and these investors, Italian, Chinese, mm -hmm. German, Egyptians, of course, and, mm -hmm. and so on, so investors from all over the world. So we are, from, in the eye of the investors, one of the most attractive countries to invest in the renewable energy field. Mm -hmm. uh, Again, I, I, we were in the World Future Energy Summit just uh, in, uh, in Abu Dhabi. In Abu Dhabi. Yeah. Yes. And uh, we were honored that uh, I was representing the center, but there was a big Egyptian delegation. Mm -hmm. yes. And the Egyptian delegation was, was honored by uh, the presence of the president. Yes, himself. Mm -hmm. And he was a keynote speaker of that. Mm -hmm. And in his speech, uh, he outlined that Egypt is heading towards a more sustainable energy future. Mm -hmm. And he's, of course, he was very well received. And, uh, mm -hmm. However, the, the, the point here that we have two, two sessions focusing on the Arab nation. Mm -hmm. uh, and these sessions focused on two countries, Egypt and Morocco. Mm -hmm. Because, yes, although Emirates, of course, is one of the leading Arab countries mm -hmm. also, mm -hmm. but they choose Egypt and Morocco mm -hmm. as the two countries for future, I would say, within the next five years, the, 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 the most, I would uh, say, we can say the largest potential for investment exists where we have uh, opportunities for investors here in this country. Both in Egypt and Morocco. Both in Egypt and Morocco. Yeah. And uh, also there were the discussions and one month before there was what is called the Arab Energy Conference. Mm -hmm. And the Arab Energy Conference was held also in Abu Dhabi. Mm -hmm. This is the tenth Arab Energy Conference mm -hmm. and this is focusing on the petroleum side of the equation. Mm -hmm. Arabic is organizing this conference. Mm -hmm. However, although it is from the oil industry, mm -hmm. for the first, uh, I would say this is uh, for me is impressive, for the first time we have seen the Arab oil ministers talking about the importance of renewable energy and this should take a big part in our portfolio in the future. Mm -hmm. And this is really, now we are not looking for renewable as a competitor, mm -hmm. but as part of an ingredient of the energy mix mm -hmm. that would save fuel. Mm -hmm. And by saving fuel, we can have two or three options. Mm -hmm. One option is to save it for the future generation so we have better sustainability. Mm -hmm. yeah. The second option is to export. Mm -hmm. Because we are subsidizing most of the Arab yeah. rich countries, or rich mm -hmm. countries are exporting oil. Mm -hmm. And so if we are right now saving this oil and exporting it, we are doing more, I would say, cash flow inside mm -hmm. their own budget mm -hmm. instead of just burning it. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the third one which is more important, in fact, and we as Egypt should be keen in our development to work on, is uh, uh, using this precious oil resources, natural gas and oil, into the petrochemical industry. Mm -hmm. And then having bullets, mm -hmm. and thus increase the value added. And you can imagine, I was with the Excellency, the Minister of, uh, of Energy in Bahrain, mm -hmm. and he explained to me that Bahrain, although this is one of the oil countries, mm -hmm. Gulf countries, mm -hmm. they never export uh, the oil as oil, as a raw material. Mm -hmm. But each one dollar mm -hmm. they invest in oil, they bring three dollars as income to the country. Mm -hmm. So the value added is two dollars here. Mm -hmm. Just by working and focusing on the petrochemical industries. Mm -hmm. So this, we are seeing a lot of dynamics, a lot of changes, in, changes, changes in the Arab region. Sorry for this. Mm -hmm. uh, in the Arab region. However, Egypt is positioned right now mm -hmm. to take the driver's seat and to lead the Arab region uh, in terms of investment and in terms of also uh, technology. Our local industry here in Egypt is capable of reaching a good percentage of local content in the renewable energy industry. Mm -hmm. From the early start, the world energy industry in Egypt reached from uh, 20 to 30 percent local content without any obligation. Mm -hmm. 
So the investors are and the developers and the, the producers of the technology so that we can manufacture 20 to 30 percent of the needs needed equipment in uh, in Egypt. And this is good. And also for solar thermal electricity, which is for uh, using solar concentrators, we found out that Egypt can manufacture 50 percent of the solar fuel mm -hmm. and so on. So we, we can also the other side of the equation, which was uh, a big uh, point of debate mm -hmm. in uh, uh, Abu Dhabi uh, Future Energy Summit, is the socio-economic mm -hmm. and developmental side mm -hmm. of the renewable energy industry. Mm -hmm. How can we, in fact, expand the impacts of uh, uh, job creation, of uh, routing the local industries, of, uh, in fact, the culture within the society to work using uh, electricity? Saving the environment. Saving the environment. In, in, in Europe, for example, saving the environment is one of the main drivers. Mm -hmm. But for the region here, the driver is mostly the economic side mm -hmm. and the developmental side. Mm -hmm. So uh, the, the environment is coming in the third place here. Mm -hmm. the energy security, this is a term that we are using right now. Yeah. Um, uh, so uh, in fact, I see that the, the, the national investment would focus in the future of the energy sector in general. Mm -hmm. uh, today, it was uh, communicated over the media that mm -hmm. the new electricity law is being sent to the cabinet. Mm -hmm. And this means that in the near future, we would have uh, private developers for all types of electricity, mm -hmm. traditional and renewable. Mm -hmm. And this means that investors can come and serve the new communities with electricity from the private sector. And we can here replicate the story of the communication sector. Mm -hmm. In the communication sector, when it was only state-owned, you remember the name of the yes. telephone in the Yes, yes. Uh, indeed, Engineer uh, Majid Karam Adin Mahmoud, the Technical Director at the Regional Center for Renewable Energy and Energy Efficiency. Thank you very much for being with us in the breakfast room and for your precious input. Thank you. Thank you. Have a very good day, sir. After uh, this report, we are going to come back with more on the uh, Egyptian Russian summit, which is going to be held today, inshallah. So, Tindalandi, online TV, International.